Five. All right. Hello, everybody. Um, well, you, you don't have any, anybody in there yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't kick this stand, please. Patrick's on, and Patrick's first. Oh, hello, Patrick. Um, thanks for coming on. It's Wesley doing my first Streamly signing. He's in the UK. He's, you're in the UK? Oh, that's cool. I've never, I've never been there before. All right, so I believe this one's for you. Um, uh, you want, what did he want? Patrick wants any message from you. Okay. Do you have a preference? We're on with you, Patrick. We're on with a bunch of people. All right, Patrick, do you have any preference of color? I have uh, black and gray and bronze and blue. Patrick, as gold, I think just do gold, okay. bronze or gold. Um, all right, so Patrick, all right. Uh, thanks, for, um, thanks for supporting me and being a fan. Um, so to Patrick. Uh, I'm gonna put one does not speak unless one knows this is the way rag nar. Cool. This one's this one's for you, Patrick. All right. Um, hello, everybody joining. Um, it's me, Wesley. Um, doing my first streamly signing. I just uh, signed one for Patrick. Pretty cool. Um, we got Josh up next. All right. We next got, one's for uh, Josh. Which one is he? Josh. It can, uh, there's no special instructions, so it's a, this is, hey Josh, this Wait, is the way. Um, it's this, this one. Okay. Hey Josh, how you doing? Um, thanks for supporting uh, this and um, being a fan. Um, hey, this is the way. Say hi to Brazil, Wes. Hi, Brazil. How are you guys doing? How's Brazil doing? Is it, isn't it early there? <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's later. Oh, maybe it's yeah. later. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what I'm talking about. Um, and who's next? Um, um, let's see, Callum. Callum. Right. Callum is next. He'd like a Ragnar, and this is the way on his as well. Right. And he wants this one. Okay. So, um, this is to Callum. Um, thanks for being a fan. I'm excited to be doing this. Um, hope you like the show. Um, wow, this is, this is crazy. Cool, this one's to Callum. Um, oh, Callum's, Callum's on there. Oh. He loves it. Hi, Callum. Um, hope you like this. This is, thanks for watching the show and being a fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, who's next? This one's not for any, well, let's, uh, we'll go to the other ones that are named. Luisa's one of the people who uh -huh. would like, um, she says she'd like to get to meet you at Comic-Con in London in UK sometime soon. All right. I uh, hope I'll be there. <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be really fun. Oh, oh somebody says, uh, you were also great in your place or mine. Thank you. Nice. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching it. It's fun. Um, so what does Louisa want? Um, Louisa 
I think you should give her like a this is the way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and you know how to spell, want? right? L O U I S A. Yep. And she wants this photo as well. Okay. That one's popular. Hopefully, we have enough of those. Yeah. Um, right now, that, that one only has. Now, we don't, we don't just have this picture, we also have some. We have a Boba Fett picture and some other stuff, so check that out. <laughs> oh, good morning from the USA. That's great. Oh, really? The USA is here? <laughs> A shocker. Cool. So this one is to Louisa. I do hope to see you in the UK. That would be awesome. Never been to a Comic Con before. Uh, Patrick wanted black, so we'll redo his. But all right, you know, we'll redo his. I'll set it aside to redo in black. All right, we'll redo pastures. All right. Um, that was Luisa's. Yep. And then. Do you want Calvin's too? She is number four. Uh, who is Where's next? Callum's. Yeah, hand me Callum's. Thanks, Callum. Yeah, thanks, Callum. For. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> All right. Um, how's everyone doing? I mean, I've never done this before. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> it's like talking to yourself. You yeah, to yeah. Me. I really can't see anybody. This is number four. We got that one. All right. We got Josh. Who's seven. Yeah, we got Josh. Okay. This one is to Max. Max. Oh, no, Max. Are you on here? All right. Who's Max? Max. Okay. Uh, which one does Max want? He has the close-up. Look, it's the same person. Different hair. He wants to make sure you, you, he'd like your name, Ragnar Vizla, in there. Okay. So we'll Uh, we'll take a shot at spelling Vizla the right way. (laughs) (laughs) I think I got it. All right, so this one's to Max. He wanted my full character name, so Ragnar Vizla. And then Vizla is V-I-Z-S-L-A. V-I-Z-S-L-A. For all you fans out there, that's the- That's how you spell Vizla. Approved spelling, V-I-Z-S-L-A. All right, so this one's to Max. It's me. Um. Uh, I have I have a list here. So who who is next? Max was one. Max is number one. Wow, that's one is the best number. Um, I'm gonna mark that complete. This is awesome. Ooh, there's a Jonathan on here. Oh, I know a Jonathan. <laughs> and Jonathan actually has your Boba Fett character. Oh, right here. This guy. Yeah. Tuscan kid. Tuscan kid. No specific name, but yeah, they called me Turkey Kid on set, so. Um, so this one's to Jonathan. Does he want me to say anything specific? No. All right, uh, so I'm just gonna say to Jonathan, uh, Tuscan Kid. Real B. Wells on here. Who? What did you say? All right, so this one's to Max. It's my Boba Fett character. If you guys didn't know, I'm also the Tuscan kid. I'm not just Ragnar Vizsla. It's pretty cool. The two characters. Pretty special. Um, Any special information about the Tuscan kid that you had to learn some sign language for it? Oh, yeah. They sent me a video of the full sign language of a guy doing old sign language. So I learned the Tuscan language. So it's like a real language, which is actually like crazy. Like, what? It's a real language? <laughs> it's pretty. Teach look out. Oh yeah. Look out. Look out. 
<laughs> I don't remember any of it. It was so long ago. It was like three years ago. Um, yeah, the Boba Fett was fun. Uh, let's see who Mass, else we have. So Mass Jonathan got like his. 10 minutes to put on. We number Jonathan's. Let's redo that. What number is Jonathan? What number is Jonathan? Well, his, his order number is two. Order number two. Okay. Um, who's oh, next? Josh Harmon. Josh Harmon. Two Joshes. So you, he wants his first and last name. So Josh Harmon. And which yeah. which print does he want? He wants the headshot. Okay. So does he want me to write anything specific? Um, I think it's a this is the way. Okay. Josh Harmon. This is the way. Oh, this is the way. Uh, Ragnar. Cool. So this one is to Josh Harmon. Um, I put this is the way, and it's from me, Ragnar. Ragnar. Okay. Again, this is my for everyone who's new. This is my this is my first streamly signing. Um, it's fun, fun, right? Yeah. It was awesome. Hopefully, do some in person. Yeah, that'd be cool. Down the road. Josh has his. Yeah. Okay, there's a couple more in here. Um, these two are not addressed to anyone, so mm -hmm. I think they're, this is the way. This this um, order, the person would like Ragnar, son of Paz Vizla, in blue ink. All right. And he wants the helmet shot, the, okay. the big helmet shot. So there's a question. Uh, it was, was I a Star Wars fan before I were cast? I was cast. And the answer is yes. I've been a huge Star Wars fan for my entire life. and. When I got the audition and I got the call, it was the most exciting moment of my life. Like I had never experienced something so crazy. And it, my first day on set, it was just, I, like, I can't even put it into words. Like I, I've loved Star Wars for my entire life to get this opportunity, it's, it's crazy. All right, so what did you, it's, uh, to, with the helmet shot, to no one in particular, um, but, this is the way. This is the way. Ragnar, Ragnar son of Pazvizla. Son of Pazvizla. All right. So, in blue. In blue. My color. Oh, hi from Switzerland. That's cool. Hi, Switzerland. So many different that's, countries. That's baking, Mom. I bet there's some. Uh, this food is the way. This. Ragnar, son of. Paz Alright, so Ragnar, son of Paz Vizla. Um, cool, so this is the way, this is not to anyone in particular, but this is the way, son of uh, Paz, Ragnar, son of Paz Vizla. Okay. It's not your only father, but... Not my only father. Um... <laughs> Uh, so there was another question was, uh, what was it like working with Reese? Um, Reese, uh, she was in inspiration. She was inspirational on set. Um, she was also a child actor. So she gave me a lot of like good tips and tricks on set, which is really fun. Reese and Ashton are both great people and super fun to work with. Um, who's next? I did the, the, the no name. Um, is there another one you Ooh, said? big fans of Mandalorian uh, people in Peru. They're Ooh. in Peru. Wow. So many countries. This is, cra this is crazy. Uh, thanks for being a fan of the show. I agree with you. I'm also a big fan of the show. Um, uh, and Sweden. And Sweden? Yeah. Oh my God. So many amazing countries. Oh, somebody's ordering one as well on the, the stream. Uh, new, new blur order 
Go to Streamily to order these. Yeah. That's that's the way to go about it. It's, mm -hmm. It'll be cool. We'll we'd be happy to do it for you. Shout out. Shout we'll out. do that when it's ordered. Yeah. yeah. Um, All right. I believe you said there was another person with no specific name that wanted. Can I it. have the one that you did? That was I nine? did. Oh, you did. Okay, yeah. good. Marking that complete. Um, and then this one is also a, a blank. Mm -hmm. um, Voice crack. <laughs> <laughs> good afternoon from, hi, Josh in Virginia, USA. Ooh, Virginia. I've never been there before. I haven't been to a lot of the states. <laughs> you travel more. Um, hi, Josh in Virginia. Yeah, another How Brazil. Watching Brazil. it in Japan at midnight. Wow. Why at midnight? I mean, thanks for watching. I, I mean, I appreciate it, but midnight's late. Um, all right. Wait, what was that other one? New Blurg. How do I say it? New Blurg Order. New sure. Blurg Order. Okay. Podcast. Oh, a podcast. Oh, like that your aunt was on. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, uh, wow. hi, hi, Re hi, Real Bre Real Wells. B Wells. B hi, Real B Wells. Thanks for all your support. I appreciate it. Um, big fan, big right? Big fan. Yeah, yeah. Max says, "Hey," and I think we signed to Max. Yeah, right? we gave Max one. Hi, Max. How you doing? Uh, oh, uh, uh, and Awkward Patrick said you don't need to redo his, but we'll, we'll, oh. we'll give it a shot. Yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll see how neatly he wrote. <laughs> Swedish fan here, Kramen Bjor Bjornen. Fan. Oh, hi, Swedish fan. Thanks for being a big fan. Of Kramen or Kramen? Bjorn Bjornen. Bjornen. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dad. Get your act together. Uh, okay, we got... Um, Let's see who else. What's your favorite Star Wars? Press movie? agent, you can go to the. Uh, site. My favorite Star uh, Wars memory. No movie. Oh, movie. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the two, uh, two of the originals. It's either Return of the Jedi or A New Hope. Those are my two favorites. Love the little Ewoks. Baking mom, the site is Streamily that we're doing these signings through. Yep, Streamily. Um. Johnny Bird loved the Tuscan kid. Thanks, Johnny. Uh, Did Johnny you have? Bird. How was that being in that suit? I mean, the 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 it was really cool being in the suit. Um, the helmet, though, it took like ten minutes to take on and off. Um, but it was actually really cool because like it fit so perfectly. Like they three D modeled my head, modeled my head, and then built the helmet around it. So everything like fit perfectly. So that's why it looks like super tight and like right on my face because it is um and then uh let's see who oh while we're on here hi lulu um, how you doing do you watch anything other than the live action star wars yes um i watched all of the clone wars all of that animated tv shows do they mean like other star wars shows that aren't the live action animation it, and yeah. all that yeah uh, i watch every single I binge watch all seven seasons of Clone Wars and Rebels. Some of them you watched a couple of times, right? Yeah, I, I still rewatch all those shows. Uh, Rebels, um, Rise, uh, uh, The Resistance, I think that was one of Ooh, them. somebody from Iran is on here. That's cool. Oh, hi, Iran. How you doing? God, there's so many people. Do you play oh, so Jedi Patrick Survivor? liked that color, too. So on we hear PS5. you, Patrick. I do, I do play Jedi Survivor on PS5. I have that game. I do. And Battlefront 2. I got all the Star Wars games. Um, um, let's see. Baking Mom's son is a big fan. Hopefully she is too. Thanks um, for being a fan. He's the same age. Really? That's cool. That's cool. Um, 13. A lot of people say it's the unlucky number. Lucky Marvel for me. Marvel or DC? Mar Marvel. Are Marvel. you a Minecraft or Fortnite player, Wes? No, not really. I mean, when I was younger, I played Minecraft, but not anymore. Oh, what happened to your arm? Oh, I got burned for my science final. <laughs> we don't talk not about fun. that. Not fun, not fun. No. Uh, Did you watch The Time Traveler Way? No. But you have a friend who's on that show. But I do have a friend who's on that show. Utterly. Yeah. Who 
Kramen, Dramen, Dramen, Dramen. It's um, it's a it's a website called Streamily.com. Mm -hmm. And I think if you like miss it during this live thing, you can always go to it. Um, yeah. And we can catch up on those orders. Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, Ragnar Vizla is now canon. That's dope. We cool. we, we like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> um, Rowan says hi. In so. The 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 jetpack scenes are the only stunt I didn't do, but I got to see like how they did it, and it's actually really cool. Like they have big like crazy forklifts that go like two hundred feet in the air with um, little strings that pop down, and they zoom them up really fast. And like on the stuff like in that first episode when the turtle's attacking, when uh, Paz Vizla like slides to the left on his jetpack, like shooting the big turtle creature. Um, he, they actually had him on a zip line, so he was like zip lining up and down the set like over and over again, and it was really fun to watch. Do you play soccer in your free time or some other sport? Uh, not soccer, but I do play baseball. I am a big fan of baseball. And... Oh wow, Lou Valentino's on here, best teen actor, folks. What <laughs> and Jill's gonna <laughs> got her friends coming in too. So we got thank you, great for Lou. Lou. Lou from Nebraska. <laughs> Say hi to hi, There's another Lulu, too, who wants you to say so hi. So many Lulus. Hi, all the Lulus. Thanks for watching. And <laughs> Your very first friend ever was a Lulu. Yeah, my very first friend ever was a Lulu. Hello, and a big fan from Buffalo, New York. Hi from Arizona. Hi, we, Buffalo we, and New York we, and we Arizona. There are so many states. Oh, yeah, what's the last one? It was, it was not. It was just generic. Why don't you fill yeah. that one out? It was, what color? This is the way... Uh, do do the gold or the bronze or the bronze or the okay. yeah do the bronze. So I'm just gonna write this is the way. How old are you, Wesley? Is seventy three years old. Seventy three and three quarters. Uh, <laughs> um, Kraman liked maybe one of the terrible pronunciations. His name is Adam. Adam? Yeah, oh. Kraman is his last. Kraman is his last name. Adam, Adam is hi uh, Adam. What's up, Adam? I'm getting yelled at. LOL. Come on, Dad. Sorry. It's yes. Part of, I have to watch out. Be for better, my boy. Uh, um, Josh said he he appreciates you live signing. Hoping to see you do more of these soon. I would love to do more. I would like to do it in person and meet all you guys. And Johnny Bird, thanks for the autograph. Will look great in my collection. So glad to add to it. Um, oh, and I, okay, now I see that. Thanks. I have help with people deciphering everybody's comments. Um, Streamily, Adam, is um, just similar to the way this you spelled it. Sign. Stream is right. S-T-R-E-A-M-I-L-Y. The link is in the bio. The is, yeah, link, is, the in link the bio. is in the bio. I forgot he told me that, and I forget to say it. LOL, the OG series is fire. From Thanks for saying the series is fire. It was personally my favorite series, not just because I was in it. I thought it had a lot of action-packed. Crazy do you play it. Jedi Survivor on PS5? I, yeah. yeah, I think yeah. you do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Catch up. Catch up. Next signing. I don't know. Hopefully soon. Yeah. Um, hopefully soon. Come forward. No. I'm <laughs> uh, get an autograph. Um, so the if if you guys want to get an autograph in general, the link is in the bio of the stream, and it's called Streamly.com. And there's some options of different pictures you would like me to sign. So go check that out. I mean, you don't... Oh, uh, stop it. Dog, dog alert. So... Dog alert. The gardeners. <laughs> Hi, Mandalorian. Hello, uh, person. I don't know the name. Okay. Hello from El Paso, Texas. Ooh, El Paso, Texas. I've, I feel like they've every single state has been on this stream. It's... Yeah, Brazil again. I don't know if it's the same person or someone new. Brazil is cool. I like Brazil. Um, I want to go to South America. Anyone from what Brazil actor would you like to do a movie with? Well, I've already... I mean, I, I've already had a lot of my goals set. Um, I just did an action movie with uh, Chris Evans and The Rock called Red One. It's a crazy Christmas action movie. It's going to be really fun. Um, but I guess, like, if I had to say someone, maybe, like, Ryan Reynolds or someone like that. I like Ryan Reynolds. He did really good in Free Guy and Red Notice and those movies. Oh, and Tom Holland in Spider-Man. 
I keep seeing like these fan made trailers for like Spider Man Four, where like Spider Man's the Venom now, and I like, come on, I want to see a real trailer. I mean, they're awesome, but I want to see what really is gonna happen. Stop barking, dog. Uh, big fan from Pakistan. That's cool. Oh, Pakistan's cool. It's probably really late Thanks there too. Yeah, it's like so late in all these other countries. Um, you have siblings. You do. Uh, when you do a scene with Grogu, mm -hmm. are you looking at a doll? How dare you call it a doll, sir? Grogu so it's Grogu. actually a, like an animatronic. Like, have you ever been on Pirates a bunch of, the of ones. Caribbean? Like, they have animatronics, and it's like funny because when we did that whole fight scene where we were fighting with the paintball guns, like on the ground were just like five guys in gray suits, like head to toe gray, just like moving around Grogu with all of his different hands and stuff, and it's yeah, very hard to concentrate that. on. Yeah, like, like they, like, ask him questions and stuff, like, as if he's real, because he is real. Uh, how was the food on set? Actually, on Mandalorian, it was the best catering that I've ever had in my entire life. It was Mario's catering, and every day <laughs> I had steak, and it was so good. What's your favorite food in general? Um, I like meats, like hamburgers and that sort of stuff. Uh, um... Oh, they're recording this for Louisa, and so cause she's on a plane right now. Is going to be very excited to get a mention. So that's nice. Well, have fun uh, in Star your flight. Star Wars question. I, this will test you. Okay. I don't know if you're going to know this. Which character after Episode Nine knows the complete story of all the timeline of the movies? After Episode Nine of what show? Mandalorian. No, it doesn't say. Uh, Is there a character that PM? knows all the timeline of the movies? It might be three PO or I mean art or but they aren't in the Mandalorian so, um, it's a tough question. I mean, I have I need to rewatch all that stuff. I think isn't it like um, uh, Carl Weathers' character doesn't he know all the timelines and stuff? Cause like he knows like about the Jedi. No, it's the armorer. Yeah, it's the armorer because she talks about how the Jedi were did all this stuff and the Death Star and that sort of stuff. Like she knows everything. The after nine though. That's after, I mean, we don't know what happens with the armor. Well, no, so. because, no, she talks about the Jedi in the first season. All right, it's a good question. It's a really it's good question. It's up for debate. Maybe Is there's an exact answer. costume shooting outside? Yes. Yes. It's like 90 degrees in a parking lot filled with sand around with blue screens. And Rick I'm so boreas. Yeah. Hi from Germany. Hi, Germany. Oh, my God. Why are there so many countries? Hi from Hungary. Hi, Hungary. I'm hungry. It's so cool. It's awesome. Like, uh, Isn't it like wait, was Ta was Jason Tapia the one with the question? He said R two, which I would agree. Oh, of course. I would. I mean. Oh, episode nine, the movies. <laughs> oh, I thought he meant like episode nine of the, of Mandalorian. the Mandalorian. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. so confused. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Of course. Buenos tardes. Because he has the map of Luke Buenos tardes. <laughs> Buenos tardes. You're learning Spanish I now too. I am Spanish now. Uh, hi from Hungary. Hi, Hungary. Thank you for becoming Tuscan Kid and Ragnar. Awesome. Of course, I was happy to do it. Do you like Starbucks? <laughs> I like the Starbucks brownie warmed up, but I don't like to drink coffee or anything like that. Not yet, at least. It smells good. A lot of questions about the costume. Who do you? Uh, who made the costume? You want to talk about your fittings or anything like so, that? So, uh, Shauna, uh, she's the head costume director on uh, Star Wars, she made all the costumes, like she designed all the costumes and stuff. And we had like five fittings, I think five for the Tuscan Kid and five for Ragnar. Um, and like in each different fitting, they focused on a different part. Like one day they focused on just the head where they 3D scanned my head and fit a helmet to it. Um, one day they focused on the wrappings or the clothes or so a lot of different stuff. And it was like, when I put when I final when I put the final costume on, it was just like I look in the in the changing mirror and I'm like, this is really happening. I'm really like part of this universe, because like this has been my dream since I was little. So I mean, it was. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music do you like? Um, I grew up. My parents really enriched me. Not enriched. That's a weird word. Um, my parents like grew me up in the '70s sort of music and like. Not like not the recent like. Grew you up in the seventies? Yeah, well, like no, no, no. He was born in a. I I, I grew up listening. In a pumpkin patch. I grew up listening to seventies music and like sort of old music, so I'm not really like familiar with all like the new rap 
the music and that sort of stuff. So I, I had never really, like, sort of listened to that. But, like, I've sort of, like, after, like, all the Bar and Bat Mitzvahs, I've sort of, like, gotten to know all those different songs better. Because, like, that's all anybody does. Like, we all jump in a circle and start singing. I'm just yelling watermelon crocodile the whole time. I don't know any of the words. <laughs> um, are you doing another signing besides today? Nothing scheduled yet, but, like, keep an like eye to. out. We'll, we'll post when we are. Yeah. Especially if it's an in-person one. Ah, you... <laughs> Uh, love uh, Callum Tim's what loves eighty eighties music. Are some of your favorite eighties bands. I really like Guns N' Roses. Um, I guess that's sort of rock and that sort of stuff. Um, I like the Beatles. I really like the Beatles. Um, I sort of listen to like the new sort of pop songs, but like not like anybody specifically or anything specifically. Uh-huh. But I listen to a lot of the Guns N' Roses and um, Beatles and that sort of stuff. You like sports? Yeah, I really like baseball. Who are, you, baseball who, are you, who are your fan of? What's your team? Dodgers, yeah. all the way. <laughs> um, it's exciting this new season. All right, who thinks Mexico the Do- City? Mexico City. Which uh, what show in this universe are you most looking forward to seeing next? Ahsoka. I'm really excited for Ahsoka. What about Skeleton Crew? And Skeleton Crew. I've heard that's really good. I'm excited to see like what they've done with it, all the kids and stuff. How'd you come to acting, Wes? Lay the blame. <laughs> it, look, before I say anything, it was not my parents' fault. <laughs> um, uh, I grew up on a set, basically. So um, one of the writers on my uncle's show like wrote me into a bit. Bess, Bess Cow. Bess, yeah. She Shout wrote out. me. She wrote me into a. She wrote me into a bit called The Baby Bachelor. Some might have heard of it. Um, And from there on, like, they realized on set that, like, I had a real, uh, like, had a real, like, I was good at it. A knack. A knack. I was going to say a knack, but I didn't know if that was the right word. A knack for that, for acting. Taking direction. Taking direction. So I I enjoyed it. I loved being on set. did lots of plays. Lots of plays. I did Yada, um, uh, Youth Academy of Dramatic Arts. Um, I did a lot of plays there. I was the genie in Aladdin. That was pretty fun. Um, so yeah, I always like really liked being on set and I was really good at taking direction. So my parents started taking me to commercial auditions and I loved it. And then I built my way up. Tell over... us the character you played in preschool. In when preschool? You were, when you were like two oh, and a half, I was Tevia. Three, three we, years old. In our, in our, at our preschool, we always had a school play and I was Tevia in Fifth or on a <laughs> Roof. Um, that was, I can't believe I learned all those lines. I was like three, like four. Do you have any inspiration? Well, they, they ask Tom Holland or Leonardo DiCaprio. I could guess which one of those is more of your inspiration. But. Probably Tom Holland. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's great. He's inspired me to want to learn how to do a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I sort of, like, really grew into acting and built my way up until um, I started booking stuff like your you place or my light. light out okay lights back up uh, uh my first like real like sort of like appearance on a show was like good girls i think um and then i sort of built my way up and I, then i got the rookie. It, it was the rookie i played a kid who was driving right it, i was like 10 and i was driving and then i crashed my car and it was because my sister was i'm not gonna say that because that was not this i shouldn't say that on stream but it was uh, a dramatic. It was dramatic. Story line. It was a dramatic storyline, and then I built my way up to Your Place or Mine, which, well, my first ever movie was The Hater, which I played young, a young version of a the main one of the main characters, and then my first lead in the movie was Your Place or Mine, and then from there I got Boba Fett. Well, Boba Fett was before that, but when did you start acting? What was your very first job? So I started acting when I was two, and my first job was The Baby Bachelor. But your uh, first commercial that you booked was, was a, a mattress, sleep mattress. A sleep mattress firm. Yeah. And uh, from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Hi, Pennsylvania. Let's give another shout out to the people who ordered. There was Max, right? Yeah. Shout out to Max, Jonathan, Jonathan, Patrick, Josh Harmon, Josh, Louisa, Louisa, Callum, um, and then the two people who didn't write their names. Thank shout you. out to those guys. Thanks for purchasing. There are probably some. 
more, I think, but. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to wrap it up here oh, soon. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I um, uh, uh, hope to see you guys again. And yeah. Glad to be part of Glad the, to be a part of this big universe. Fan base. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye. No, I'm not going to figure out how to stop it. <laughs> okay. <laughs>